I like this talk, but I thought it overly mystified human memory. Um, because, I mean, he sort of asserts that the internet represents this really groundbreaking fundamental change in how we remember things and how, you know, it's no longer costly to remember things permanently. Um, and while that may be true in a public sense, in a private sense, I think we still very much depend on physical forms of memory, such as day planners or notebooks. Um, so I don't think this is really a big change in terms of us trusting our own memory or trusting physical memory. Um, I think this is, you know, more of a change of how that memory gets communicated to others and the control we have on that record once it's been established. Um, so really, I think that this is, this is sort of one of those parts of the internet that, yes, it's a big change, but when it comes down to it, I don't think it's really that big. Um, I mean, because I, I think this, it's certainly, I think it represents a shift in our society and in the divide between our private and public lives. Um, but in terms of human cognition, um, I would be skeptical uh, that this would really represent any significant change. I think this is much more of a societal phenomenon. Um, and he, he also sort of postulates that we would become less forgiving of, his, of a society um, when, when the Internet, you know, fully, fully reaches its, you know, sort of omniscient record-keeping ability. Um, but I would contest that. I would say that we would actually become a far more forgiving society. Um, if only because having that record there and accessible to everyone would mean that everyone knows just how innately human everybody else is. Um, I mean, because, you know, if you look around you, a lot, of, a lot of this world depends on us convincing each other that we are, for the most part, infallible, which very often is not true. Um, so I, I think that sort of, you know, pulling away that shroud... I think would uh, would actually possibly make things flow a little smoother.